Man, I have to start that all over again. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, <clears throat> basically, if you were paying attention to the description that I've been updating every day, um, what we were looking for here is mostly a sideways trading day uh, to establish a little support here at the 50 HMA daily moving average. Whole moving average daily, whatever, 50. Um, which it looks like we did. We're seeing some wicks. We really don't see any closes below it here in the 30 minute, which is pretty neat. Uh, we see the break of this local resistance here at uh, 9764. Yeah, 9, and we broke the 25 daily haul moving average. So awesome. Um, don't think that's quite means moon time yet, but because uh, I, I would expect a back test of this establish it as support uh, but what is interesting and the reason I hopped on is when we pull this over to the daily time frame we have the Ichimoku cloud on I'm a big Ichi fan um, I don't always find it helpful in every situation so I don't always have it up um, but here's where it's getting spicy boys and girls uh, right here you can see we're right at the daily um, Tenkan-san forgive my pronunciation of every everything to do with the uh, Ichimoku cloud. Um, what's cool here is a break of this level. You can see this is the major, this is a major uh, descending trend, which leads us right back up to the 10.5, you know, double top failed um, from earlier in 2020 and late 2019. So what's exciting is a break here of the TK could mean very, very uh, solid buying pressure could appear out of nowhere. And if we look to the cloud, we see that we have a thick cloud of support underneath us. Very nice as well. And we're just really right here, man. This is the the daily t uh, TK is a great spot, um, in my opinion, for any kind of trade up. Oh, we're getting a little more. We're getting a little more. Here we go. This, this could be exciting. Um, it's a great spot for a trade either way. Uh, there's likely resistance almost always at the daily TK, and when you blow through it like we might be witnessing, that's not a bad sign. Not a bad sign, boys and girls. Uh, we do have this ascending trend here at about 9.9, 9, 9, 9,900. We could see some resistance there. Um, where do we have? Let's zoom out a little bit. Yep, right here. We have that local high here as well. So that definitely could be some resistance at 9.9. Maybe not a bad spot to TP some long. Uh, we never, here's a problem though. We never uh, we never came back and tested 10,000 and you know, 79, 10,000 change here. We never retested this. And so another reason not to get too super excited yet is uh, I would imagine even if we were gonna go lower, we were going to test this as resistance before uh, before but like possibly going lower really there's you know we're just going by what we see there's not uh there's no clear signal here it really is even with this move pretty undecided if you zoom out you really see that this is all very sideways um, things to note 25 daily moving average is actually leveling out here and even possibly dipping down which is not great um, but with this move up we may see that curl right back up so fingers crossed there on that one let's take it over to the daily take it to the daily I have to set this up better for next time okay we got them all up we are clearly over the daily here uh, on the cloud that is not a bad sign let's look at those daily moving averages to so this the white, white here is 25 yellow is 50 green is 200 blue is 100 so my first take looking at this despite the 40 days of sideways here um, is it's felt very undecided and very sideways for the last 40 days like I said and that is reflected here in the 25 you can see this 25 doing it's really not even sure itself what it's doing there um, but what is of note is 
We have the 50, and the 50 is pointing up. We have the 200, the 200 is pointing up, and we have the 100, and the 100 is pointing up. What that tells me is that we can look back and see when did that happen last? Really never. <laughs> it really has not happened uh, recently, anytime recently. Um, I would guess the last time would be back here, yep. Yeah? Right around here. Uh, May 2019. This is the pretty much actually that looks pretty similar to you see the 25 uh, Doing that little sideways indecision thing. You see the 200 moving up So that is the last time we had this daily MA uh, setup and That's pretty nice. I can't yeah cuz 200 descends from here Yep, so this is not bad man. This is not bad. Uh, what I I've been pointing out here, let me rip up the weekly quick. Because when you're looking at the daily and you're not getting the answers you want or the clarity you want, zoom out. And that's just classic, classic zoom out. So actually I have this updated on Twitch and I don't have it updated here, that is my bad. Um, we are due for a cross. We are due here for 50, 25 weekly cross. That's pretty nice. Um, you can see when the 25 passed under the 50 on the weekly, that's when we sold off to 3,000s. So the weekly is, is a big deal, is not to be ignored. Um, and I'm looking forward, this should happen end of June, early, early July. We should see the 25 and the 50 cross on the weekly here. So that's pretty sweet. Josh Durham, Yeti Cooler, dude, Yeti Cooler's for everybody. We break 10-5, man, just Yeti Cooler's for everybody. Um, not on me, but someone, someone's, maybe Yeti Coolers will sponsor us. Uh, I have not heard from Yeti Coolers yet though, so don't, don't take that as a, a promise. So what, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. The only real kind of question mark is we have the 50 on the weekly slightly pointing down again. Um, that's not ideal, considering we were just talking about the setup before of all the MAs pointing up on the daily, which I like. Um, the 50 is still a little, little curving down, however, I think that even this candle, if it were to break above 10, uh, 10,500, I think that we would see that have a friendly little turn up. You can see on the liquidation slash significant trade tickers, we got some big longs coming in. We got 1.9 million, 1.6 million, a bunch of little changes. Uh, it would not surprise me to see a flood of, of red here though, selling especially as we approach the 9-9 range. So this is this is spicy, you know, it, Bitcoin, whenever it stays sideways for a long period of time, you know something big's coming, uh, every single time. And typically it's what we're not expecting, so. Um, I am liking it, we broke this local resistance. Uh, we broke it with enough gusto, because you can see this volume picked up quick. It was, it was not impressive and just while flipping through time frames in the last eight minutes, we can see that volume's picked up. Um, it's picked up to equal uh, this candle over here, which was a big fake out. That was a big volume. Um, this candle looks like the sell pressure has been alleviated a little bit. That's a good sign. But what I was doing is, I believe we can do, uh, we can do support untested. We're gonna upgrade that to an untested support. Friendly little untested support. Bam. Put that green. Bam. Okay. Wonderful. So weekly still weekly is undecided, but uh, you know just because of this 50. If that 50 was not curling down, I mean, it would be all, all thrusters set. I mean, really, look at 25 is definitely curving up, 100 is curving up, 200 has just always moved up, like, since the beginning of time. That, if that 200 weekly moving average over curls down, man, that's gonna be a bad sign. Um, what we were looking at here is we can see the great, the great high trend of the 20k, December 17 to 14k June 19 The ultimate trend man the biggest trend I've seen this line drawn incorrectly so many times it is ridiculous um, 
but you can bet that this line is up on the screen here is perfect this is exactly where it should be and that is resting in this weekly at about 11,000 so um, let's go over quick 11,000 gotta keep that in my head we have the 99 here about 99 yep look and even this descending trend line even that's a 99 so this this value right here certainly is gonna have some resistance um, when we hit this we're gonna have to see some volume to push through that absolutely we're going to need to see some volume because we see we see that reflected here even on the 30 minute we have a trend line on the daily we have a trend line oof there we go got close got close and getting smoked oh boys this is gonna be a spicy candle this is gonna be a spicy candle let's get in Woo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh man, look at that. Look at those orders go nuts. Holy chaos, just freaking chaos. Oh. Down to the 25 daily, maybe. It is possible. Yep, just what I was saying. We had the 30 minute ascending trend line here, we had the daily descending trend line here. Um, Wow, what craziness. I can't even see those orders. They're flying. Liquidated, liquidated, liquidated. Boom, 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 boom. Chaos. I'm glad I hopped on for this. I got an alert on my phone and I was like, you know what? I was I was on a bunch. Maybe I should just like hop in and uh, just live it out live with everybody. So, whew. If you were counting, I gotta re-add this because it's not doing what it's supposed to. If you were counting. Add source, add source. Your count. There we go, 185. Woo -hoo. Dude, this candle is epic. Well, that's rock and roll. I have no idea what's going on. Who knows what's going to happen here, guys? <laughs> uh, I could see a test of the 25. Uh, that would be such a crazy move if we saw that, though. Holy crap, would that be a crazy move? Um, five minutes left in this candle. 36 minutes left in the first hourly of the day and this daily is starting off with some fire man it just barely didn't get to my 99 nine. 9886 fair enough what is this what shape is this uh, I don't know I would love to see this uh, the candle we're on right now I'd love to see this come back up close above the 50 ideally man let's let's see this candle close above these 30 minute hmas that'd be really crazy this, this is anybody's guess if anybody has a guess throw it in chat throw it up <laughs> wow that is an impressive candle and those orders are still flying million dollar longs million dollar shorts bam 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 Let's see, what are we favoring in the last 30 seconds? The longs are up a little bit. In the last 15 minutes, shorts are up. And in the last 30 minutes, pretty much tied. Shorts a little bit superior there. Now, if this, this candle moves up, we're gonna see a lot of volume. This is exciting. <laughs> this is why Bitcoin. This is why people trade Bitcoin. You don't see this, what is this, like a kind of swing of a candle three or four percent maybe 3.32 percent in the matter of minutes man Whew. let's get it what we were saying let's go back now that uh that that madness is over for a second actually it's not but like i was saying tk daily always always a good possibility for a trade there there's always going to be resistance or support does not guarantee you're gonna have a winning trade, but there's almost always a trade to be found on that daily TK. You really see things like blast through it or blast above it. So man, three minutes left. Good old Bitcoin. Good old Bitcoin. Mm. Do you keep seeing these million dollar on uh, Bitmex pop up? Million dollar longs. That is. This is a battle. This is going to be an interesting day. I think we, we might break some of our boring spree here. Let's get it. Three minutes. Close above that 50 HMA. Come on, bulls. 
Come on, boys. Daily just shows no sign of caring, though. I mean, there's zero, zero signs of caring on the daily. I need to mess with the colors for the, for the webcam. I look yellow. I can promise you I'm just clear white and not yellow. Or tan, not tan. Haven't been outside. Million dollar long, boom. Yeah, people are sneaking in big orders right now. Money is changing hands, you can see that clearly by the volume. Slip to the 12 hour. Let's take a look at the 12. Well, we have a minute in this chaos. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yep. Yep, 12 hour. 12 hour is definitely waiting. 12 hours waiting on a break of that 10.5. Nice 12 hour TK, uh, KJ cross above the cloud would be pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Let's throw away the Ichi for a minute. It's a little too visually confusing sometimes with other stuff going on. Yeah, 12 hour, 200's pointed up, 100's pointed up. It seems like on every time frame, the 50 is like the one that is is not agreeing with everyone and is casting doubt. That is interesting, actually. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. 200 viewers. Let's rock and roll. Love it. Love to see everybody back. Thank God for stop losses. Amen, brother. Two minutes ago, people were regret regretting selling. Now they're regretting buying. That's Bitcoin. Yeah, well, this is definitely not support untested. This this went right through. Let's just pop that up as resistance again. Yeah, let's just let's just leave it at resistance. I don't even care. Not important the wording at the moment. Too much going on. I can do the the tidiness of it later. All right, longs flying in again. Back above the 50 HMA. This is what I've been. This is what I had my fingers crossed for for this crazy candle. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's let's close it. 20 seconds left. Keep those longs flying in. Million dollar longs. Bring them in. No. No. Narrating second by second in this candle. Man, that was awesome. We have not seen. I mean, since what? the seventh we had maybe one candle that's similar in kind of power and volatility shorts flying in longs flying in for this close boom closed a little bit below that is not as good as i would have hoped i think we're going to see some sell pressure off that i think that could lead to some sell pressure okay, four hour 25 and 50 threatening a bearish cross that is a fresh candle, man. For a four hour candle, look at that volume on this four hour candle. This has the volume of like most of most of its neighbors here half an hour in. And it's eclipsed the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight four hour candles in volume. 30 minutes in. This is gonna be a spicier day. So that is that is excellent. We needed some spice. Let's get it's too bland. It's been too bland. Let's flip it. Five hour. Five hour turn purple. No bueno. No bueno. Back to the daily. Nine four seven nine still. And here we go, just getting rock and roll back and forth. Jeez, four million dollar long on BitMEX. Boom! That is a big one. That is a big one. And there has been Bitcoin flying off exchanges. I tweeted about it earlier. Um, in the last 24 hours, I think there's maybe net like 10,000 Bitcoin taken off of exchange. That that is big. You know, volatility is coming when when you see big boys taken off.
You know what? Let's let's do something we don't usually do. Let's let's take up the uh, get the DXY up. Let's get that DXY. Ooh, Verge. Verge is looking popish. Popish. OMG coin. Oh my goes. You're boring me. All right. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. DXY is is not performing super great uh, right now, but it's got some support down here probably. Ninety four point six five. This right here, I would like to see Bitcoin moving up more as the dollar moves down. Personally, is that three point eight percent down out of three point eight ish? Okay, I guess Bitcoin's gone up more than that since then, though. So that's not too worrying. Spicy start to the day. Spicy start. Boring little candle now. No volume. Only five minutes old, though. Still fresh. I want some different jams. I want some downtown swing. All right, let's push it. This could be a crazy whipsaw coming in. Everybody's getting all amped up, and who could blame them, guys? It has been so boring. This has been the most boring Bitcoinage the last month. I don't even know what to say. Dollar is down, down, down. Downtown like this song. Downtown swing. Problem with these things is you gotta go so much farther back with like anything that's not crypto because there's just so much more time available chart wise. And this is looking a lot more local when you zoom out. Eighty-eight point two five. We might. Is it a fail high? I don't know, boys. I don't know. We might be seeing the dollar. The dollar maybe uh, experiencing some pain here. That's pretty fascinating. That's something to keep an eye on. But that's gonna move slow. Super slow. So we'll cut it back. All right, well, we basically are back to where we started. Oh man, but that is a nice whipsaw. And I will say we've been seeing whipsaws. Um, we definitely have been seeing whipsaws since March. I cannot, too much going on. Let me swap these screens so I can actually see. That is a beautiful whipsaw. I'll tell you what, Bobby. Beautiful. Let's look. Pretty whipsawish. Can we get anything? I'm gonna go back and look. Maybe my memory is serving me wrong. Here we go. Here's a little whipsaw. Here's a little whipsaw. I guess that was actually pre-March is when we were seeing them. 
because uh, my memory says that we were seeing him a lot pretty recently. Let's pop on four hour. Four hour looks a lot more scoopy. Back to where we started. We got this same kissing going on in the four hour also though. If you take a look at that. Little kiss. That's the same thing that we were seeing right here. Hmm. Make sure that we can yep. All gold everything. All gold everything. You know what? Either way, all gold everything, so. There we go, now I can see the chart and the chat. Bam. Well, that got less exciting, but that was exciting for a little bit. Hmm. I wish that would have hit 99 perfect instead of 9886 or whatever. 8886. That made me a lot happier. Close enough, I suppose. <laughs> Look at this MACD ugliness. What even is that? I don't even know what to call that. These could be this could be considered similar. Hmm. I was hoping we were gonna get a bigger move, man. That was a sweet move. That was a lot of volatility. But I was hoping we would get. Uh, I was really hoping for like either a big rally or a big crash. Really was hoping for anything other than whipsaw and then nothing. But. Something I do see here, now that we've had a second, is it looks like the return of our friend Mr. Triangle, probably. You can see it. This is totally just doodled. Yeah. Totally doodled. But you can see that shape taking place. Um, if it does, I would expect to see something like this. And then make a decision. Uh, and really, if you look at it, this is pretty di uh, pretty diamondish itself. But if we zoom out, this is less. What I do see here, though, is we're seeing these tests and then higher lows. And so we return to the sideways, perhaps. That's super bummer. Super bummer. Super bummer. Yeah, this this low volume candle here is like to me is is just saying we're probably not going anywhere anytime soon. Can you zoom out? That was exciting only because it's been so boring. Nothing super awesome going on yet. Such a shame. Well, I'm not gonna sit here for 20 minutes and wait, but what I will do. Let's set our alerts because it's going to be important for us to know when it breaks this low. I guess I still have the alert here because it never quite broke it. I'll throw another one up. No friendly alert over here. And it looks like we may return to boring. That we may. Uh, if we do see this wick, this low here wick, if we do see that break, I would imagine look right back to the 25 daily right here 9452 and if this breaks I'm still looking for that resistance at 99 flat of course we have this local 10428 up here which is gonna be a butt it looks like we're pretty wedged in um, absolutely gonna see some support down here at 81 
see some support here at 86. Yeah, this is really looking like a diamond as well. Super indecisive patterns. Sweet. Well, let's hope something exciting happens. I will pop back on, but uh, I'm going to go eat more food because I have not been eating enough lately and it's making me feel like crap. So let's hope we get a big move. Pray for the not sideways, anything but sideways, guys. And uh, if it breaks, if either of these alerts goes off in the next few hours, I'll definitely be back on. No question.